Hi, I'm Eric Brown, Weld Engineer with Miller, and today we're going to talk about pulse welding. While pulse welding isn't new to the industry, it still continues to evolve. Pulse MIG welding is a modified spray transfer process in which the power source switches between a high peak current or voltage and a low background current or voltage between 30 to 400 times per second. During the switch, the peak current pinches off a droplet of wire and propels it into the weld joint. At the same time, the background current maintains the arc but produces such a low heat input that metal transfer can't occur, allowing the weld puddle to freeze slightly and help prevent burn through. So there are two different types of pulse. There's synergic and non-synergic. Synergic means when you roll the wire feed speed, your power level is automatically gonna adjust with that wire feed speed to be where you need it. A non-synergic system, you're gonna set your wire feed speed and like on ours, it will give you a reference number to where your power level should be. Similar to if you were setting up a voltage and a wire feed speed, only this time you're setting up the power level in the back that us as welding engineers have set from the factory. Some of the hesitation to switch to pulse welding comes from maybe the different noise or the lack of knowledge that people have of pulse welding. But if you're willing to change and adapt, there's a lot that can be gained from pulse welding also. The three key advantages are reduced spatter, less heat input, and the ease of use. You reduce the spatter by not having the actual end of the wire smacking the front of the puddle. With the arc length keeping you up above it, there's less metal to be thrown out of the puddle. By reducing spatter, you can greatly reduce the amount of rework or post-weld operations that you have to do to that part before you can sell it, which means making more money. Pulse welding can reduce your heat input because we're cycling between a peak current or voltage and a background current or voltage, so we're not staying at the high power level. Pulse is easy to set because of the synergic function. With the synergic function, that means you only have to adjust one knob and you can be in a stable welding condition without too much adjusting. And then you can fine tune it from there on if you want to. Other advantages of pulse welding include exceptional directional control over the weld pool, improved control over the arc starts and stops, faster wire feed speeds that along go with faster travel speeds, they, it can prevent over welding and poor fusion or lack of fusion. With pulse welding, you can weld thick or thin materials, but what it allows you to do is achieve better results on things like stainless steel, aluminum, or any exotic materials that you may be welding. For more information on pulse welding, visit MillerWelds.com.